this uh I don't, I don't think this is going to get monetized. Nah, I don't think it is. But I want to cover it. Well, fine, I don't want to cover it. But it's, it's an important story. It's important. It's bloody horrible, but it's important. Gay couple charged with molesting and pimping out their sons. According to a recent report, a same-sex couple from Georgia is accused of sexually abusing their adopted sons and producing child pornography with them. Additionally, they are alleged to have prostituted the boys to a group of paedophiles in their community. Like I said, this isn't something that I want to cover, but I have to. An investigation conducted over several months by Town Hall has uncovered allegations that William Dale Zulock, age 33, and Zachary Jacoby Zulock, age 35, used social media platforms to engage in the prostitution of their two young sons, who are of elementary school age. In August 2022, William Zulock, an employee of the government, and Zachary Zulock, a bank employee, were charged with incest, aggravated sodomy, aggravated child molestation, sexual exploitation of children, and prostitution of a minor. Uh, check out what the New York Post reported, but the shocking investigation reveals in more detail the sickening abuse the boys suffered. For the first time, it was revealed that the men allegedly pimped out their older sons, now 11 and 9 years old, to two other men in a paedophile ring. One of the men, Hunter Clay Lawless, 27, told investigators that Zachary, whose Instagram bio describes him as Papa to our two wonderful boys and an activist invited him multiple times to take part in sexually abusing the boys, Town Hall reported. However, Lawless claimed he never had physical contact with either child. Lawless also claims that Zachary sent him multiple messages on Snapchat, including one that allegedly read... <sighs> I'm going to fuck my son tonight, stand by. Along with... I mean, uh, okay. uh, according to the indictment, the two men, Lawless and Armando Vizcarro Sanchez, were arrested on charges of soliciting an act of prostitution involving an 11-year-old boy. It is currently unknown if there were any physical interactions between the men and the child. The situation took an even darker turn, however. <laughs> F fantastic, that's that's great, that's excellent. Uh, the Zulocks adopted the children from a Christian orphanage, uh, the New York Post continues. Deputies responding to reports that a man was downloading child porn raided the, raided the home in Loganville, where they found evidence the pair were engaging in sexually abusive acts and video documenting this abuse, police said at the time. During the raid, William was pulled out of his home naked. The government worker has admitted to forcing one of his sons to... Do that with the intent to satisfy his own sexual desire, according to a sworn affidavit cited by the Daily Wire. The Zulocks adopted the children from a Christian special needs adult special needs adoption. Special needs that's, that's great. Uh, his husband admitted sending child sexual abuse material to several people, according to the news outlet. The couple have been active in the local LGBTQ community. Prominent LGBTQ publication uh, Out Magazine reportedly asked to feature their photos on its website, according to the Daily Wire. Town Hall said that it spent, spent months reviewing recorded jailhouse calls, court documents and testimony from a relative who spoke exclusively with the outlet about the extent of the abuse, as well as the faster-than-expected adoption process process that led to the nightmare. William and Zachary, who have pleaded uh, not guilty, each face over nine life sentences if convicted, and they should get every single second of it. But, <clears throat> right, this is an extremely messed up situation. It's done, obviously, being caused by adoption agencies not doing their due diligence and social work not checking up on the children. Because the reason why this one strikes home a little bit for me is my mum and dad did foster care. My mum and dad have had multiple children living in our living in our house. Uh, well, I don't live at home anymore. I'm a grown man now. But back when I was living at home, uh, we had like multiple children who... And the reason they were with us is because they had gone through stuff like what was described in this article some sometimes they were brought to us for like respite as it's called where basically you know they can't once the child child is like given their statement etc etc to the police they don't just keep them in the police station they need somewhere for them to go so that's why foster families will sometimes temporarily take uh, the child which means that on some occasions i'm obviously not going to say names or anything you know to protect you know they, they deserve to stay anonymous but Sometimes we were getting children brought to our house, like, straight from the police station after they had to sit in the police station for, like, five hours and go into horrific detail about the stuff that they had gone through. And it's like... <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
Ah, terrible day for rain, isn't it, boys? Fuck me. Just memories I would rather not have. I've got all the fun memories, but I would, when I would come in and pure go like that, hey, how you doing? I have literally every single games console known to man. Come on, come on and let's have fun. Just like, I was the fun one. <laughs> I was the... I was the one, like, I was the one where I'm being all friendly and nice, but internally I'm, I'm dying inside going, how the fuck can I make this better? Do you like the PlayStation? You can have it. You can have the PlayStation. Like, it was just, it was a, it was a really, really horrible stuff. But one of the good things that our social, at least what happens in Scotland is, even with foster families, when kids are placed in foster families, you get, we got weekly visits because my mum and dad dealt with some special cases so we had like weekly visits from the social work where the social work would sit down like when i was living at the house they spoke to me as well but now that i'm not living there i, I don't get spoken to anymore but uh, they would sit down with my mum and dad and they would talk about everything with the kids there and then they would take the kids away one by one like just to, for one-on-one -on -one meetings to obviously talk to the kids and i know the type of questions they were asking where it's like is then happening are they hitting you are they doing this are they doing this? blah 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 and all that type of stuff now some people might be saying oh, that's quite offensive that they would accuse your mum and dad of doing that no it's not i am extremely fucking happy that social work take the kids away and ask them those questions because if the kids turn around and say yes and everyone yeah this is happening xyz is happening the social work police right away the child is immediately pulled out of the house and knock knock here comes the popo right and that's great that's excellent that is a fantastic system them ask i'm not going to sit there going how could you accuse me no 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 ask those questions all the time always ask those questions always be vigilant as fuck when it comes to stuff like that and that is something that should have been done in in like this scenario this is horrific this is disgraceful and disgusting this is like I said, you know, I know that a lot of Christian people uh, follow me and stuff like that. You know that I'm not Christian. However, I do, I will say that I do enjoy the values. I do enjoy the ethics and stuff like that. That we agree upon. Me and uh, Calvin Robinson had a little chat about that. I'm not Christian, but I like the values and I like the ethics. And even though I'm not Christian, I'm not religious, I don't believe in supernatural stuff. These are demons. I'm just going to channel Alex Jones for a second. These are demons and i'm not meaning this in like a symbolic sense <coughs> like i wouldn't be surprised if the like the skin just peeled back from these guys faces and just revealed demons right i genuinely wouldn't be the tiniest bit surprised absolutely disgusting human fucking filth well uh it's one of those i will not i will never incite violence uh, on this YouTube channel, ever. I will never, ever, ever do that. You know, I know I made videos on Gary Ploche, and we might be having a couple of videos in the future featuring people like Marianne Bachmeyer and uh, Ellis, I forget her name. Ellis, uh, another another woman who did uh, similar things to Gary Ploche. Another couple of based mothers. I mean, not based, just mothers. Uh, I would never, ever incite violence, but I'm just saying, just as a throwaway comment unrelated to any of this, I hope these two guys get put into gen pop. For no reason, for no reason. That's just that's just something I would desire. I just hope these two guys get put into gen pop. For no reason. For no reason. There's no specific reason. It's just see see when you've worked with children that have went through this. I mean everyone every every average person on the street where you turn around and go is pedophilia bad, blah 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 and all that type of stuff. Like they know, obviously, like they know. And they're like, yeah, it has absolutely horrific effects on the children. You don't like un until you've like witnessed it and seen that seen like you've looked in their eyes like after it. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> oh Jesus, what the fuck is wrong with me today like that it's it's different you re you realize you realize the fucking damage that it does you realize it's it's a horrific horrible like just disgraceful thing for them to go through and it changes them they would have grown up to be a completely different person they would have grown up to be a completely different person and that was taken away from them and it's just like adoption agencies like i'm up for adoption i'm fine for people like not just nah fuck you you can just sit in the system forever you can sit in like one of those children's units forever like no that's absolutely terrible and given from what we've heard in uh, certain events down in england in certain locations uh children's homes are not the safest place in fact they don't protect from things like this either 
certain MPs and stuff like that were involved. No, they weren't. That was a joke. I didn't mean that. But I'm just saying, like, due diligence still needs to be carried out. Adoption in itself is a good thing. Yes, children absolutely should go to loving homes. It is up to the adoption agencies and it's up to social work to make sure that those homes are, in fact, loving. Right? You need to make sure that these are people that are going to take care of these children and not do, like, whatever the fuck this is. <coughs> do this just absolutely diabolical... Dante couldn't even conceive of a level of hell for like the type of shit that these people do, right? So it's up to adoption agencies and it is up to social work to do their fucking due diligence to make sure this isn't happening, right? Weekly visits, you know, it's the thing is, uh, taxis, taxis, yeah, you know what, I would, I would be, I fucking hate taxis, but I'd be very happy for my taxis to go towards that. Just a wee weekly visit, have a chat with them and the foster parents and then have a wee chat with them on their own. If that had been done, all it would take is for one of those wee boys to blow the whistle and security, the security, social work would have got him the fuck out of there. Would have got both of them the fuck out of there. But it seems that that was not done and this went on a lot longer than it should have. It's just, it's just vile. It just makes you want to fucking whitey. For the Yanks, that means be sick. It's just honestly absolutely disgusting. But... I'm just saying, you know, everyone, there are warning signs, by the way, do you know that? There are guides online where you can say the warning signs of abuse, be it like physical, sexual, blah, 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 like in children, right? So these are things that I would advise everybody to look up on, right? Because teachers at least should have been able to notice some signs because, like I said, it changes who the kid is. The kids, kids that are going through that act a certain way. And I think it should be everyone's job to familiarise yourself with that and point it out so that you can, basically, so you can blow the whistle, right? The, the, the things that we lose when we're not a homogenous community anymore, do you know what I mean, right? I'm just saying, look out for the children in your community, recognise the warning signs, and if you fucking spot anything, have a little chat with them, and if you have any suspicions, give, give social worker, give the police a little call, right? I'm just saying, familiarise yourself with the warning signs. Just as a little, you know, just as a, <clears throat> ah, it's upsetting, uh, but yeah, ah, um, oh, fuck this, I'm going to end the video.